Hi guys, my name's Hayley Quinn and I'm a dating coach with PUATrain.com and I'm here on AskMen.com to give you a few tips on dating, sex and relationships. Now what I'd love to chat to you guys about today is how to be a good wingman. This is a really invaluable skill. Not only will going out with another guy, a partner in crime maybe, help to keep you motivated when you're approaching women in bars or on the street, but he'll also be able to help you to manage um, approaching women who are there with their friends and in bigger sets. So listening to this advice on how to be a good wingman should rapidly help you to improve your game, strengthen your relationship with your buddies and get better results all round. Now what's important is if you're going to be a good wingman, you've got to have an idea of what the rules and codes of conduct are. One fundamental rule is that the guy who approaches the group of girls gets to get first pick on who he's interested in. So for instance, if your friend does the tough job, if he goes up to women in the bar and he starts talking to them, and you join maybe 30 seconds later after you know that women are comfortable and it seems natural to do so, the last thing you want to do is start butting in on the woman that he's interested in speaking to. He's done the hard job, be a good wing guy and let him have his choice of target. Being a good wing guy can also sometimes involve maybe speaking to a woman that you're not that interested in. That's right, sometimes you have to take a silver bullet and you know what, you should be happy to do that because you should be coming from a place where he would do the same for you. So if he happens to be talking to the really cute girl and she unfortunately just happens to have, you know, a friend who's, you know, a gay best friend or is married or someone who is definitely 100% not someone you'd be interested in romantically, tough. It is your job to make that person your friend. Be as warm and as welcoming to them, throw all your energy and effort into getting to know them as a person. It will help you to buy your wing guy time, help him to hopefully get the girl he's interested in's number. And also, you never know, even if it's a gay guy or an older married woman, you may end up finding a great friend out of the interaction too. Similarly, when you enter a set that your friend has already opened, that's a group of girls that your friend has already done the difficult job of approaching, the last thing that you want to do is run him down in set. You want to big him up instead. You want to show all the reasons why he's a great guy. In fact, you want to go in there and you want to tell stories of what an amazing friend he was to you. Why is this so important? Well, while you think maybe kind of ripping it out of your friend and being a bit negative about him will make you look good, in fact, it makes you look bad. It not only makes you look like an unattractive, negative person to be around, but it also creates this weird dynamic between you and your friend. And when you're out, you know what? People are attracted to cool groups. People are attracted to groups more than individuals. So if you can be the cool, happening pair of buddies that get on really well, that have a great time together, that's gonna be a million times socially and sexually more attractive than if you start negging or being mean to your friend.